Hey guitarists, how's it going? Welcome back to Squeal and Big Guitars, the home of luxury guitars here in Nottingham, England. My name is Ben Keatley and today I have two stunning Zach Wilde signature models to show you from his time with Gibson. If you take a glance at this guitar, you can tell that it's not the uh, usual Zach Wilde signature that you see him play on stage. Uh, this is actually a BFG version. Uh, BFG stands for Barely Finished Guitar and it was an idea that the Gibson factory was playing with between the years of 2007 to 2011. The standard BFG model featured a P90 neck pickup and a passive humbucker in the bridge. Um, it also featured no fretboard inlays and no neck binding so it was really cutting down the cost of building the guitar and was delivering a cheaper product for the end user. These guitars also feature a three piece maple neck which is actually a spec that is consistent through the entire Zach Wilde series. Um, he always says he prefers them because it was like his 70s custom back in the day. What I really like about these guitars is that they are unfinished and you can actually feel the ridges of the flamed maple as you put your hand over the top, which is a really rare feature because usually flame maple tops will be satin finished or lacquered over. Um, also, because these guitars are unfinished, you get a really nice relic quality to them. So they're gonna have had a lot of play time. Uh, Zach Wilde has had an extensive line of signature models with Gibson. And some of you may know that he's actually opened his own company called Wild Audio now. So these models that were created by Gibson have become more rare because obviously they're not, never going to exist again. The most notable signature model was his Les Paul Custom, which was white with the black graphic bullseye. Uh, but he's also done Vs. He's even done something called the SGV, which is a completely custom shape that Gibson made him, uh, which basically had the upper half of an SG and the bottom half of a V. It was an absolute Frankenstein of a guitar, but very, very rare. We also had several finishes. You have the buzzsaw, you have the bullseye, and these featured in different colors. I think Zach Wilde's designs are very unique and it's not going to be to everyone's taste, but the classic bullseye design is very, very eye-catching with the contrast of white to black. In terms of playability, these guys are just built for shred. Um, the unfinished back of the neck really makes it easy kind of jumping up and down, especially for crazy training when I was playing calls down low and then had to go up high for the lead. I felt it very easy to kind of transition and there was no lack of getting my way um, or making it sticky. EMGs aren't my first choice, but for metal, they are absolutely amazing and they really did achieve that Zach Wilde tone. So that's enough talking. Let's hear some more tones now and see what this Zach Wilde model can do. I would say for clean tones, you can get decent sounds on the neck pickup, but the bridge pickup sounded awful in my opinion for clean stuff. If you're gonna buy this guitar, I'd recommend obviously being a Zach Wilde fan and playing rock and roll and metal. Thank you so much for watching today's video guys. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below which guitar we should demo next. Thank you so much, keep rocking and I'll see you in the next video.